What if I told you everything you see, everything you feel, even your own memories, might not be real? Welcome to a question that has troubled the greatest minds of our time. Is our universe actually a simulation? And if so, who or what is behind the code? Today, here on Atlas and Mysteries, we're going to unravel clues, scientific, technological, and philosophical, that might prove our existence is nothing more than a cosmic program. Think about it. When you play a video game, entire worlds are rendered only when the player looks at them. The system doesn't waste resources showing things you can't see. Could our universe work the same way? Scientists discovered something strange. Particles don't seem to have a definite position until we observe them. Reality loads only when we look. Does that sound like physics or graphics? And our universe runs on strict rules, mathematical rules. From the speed of light to the structure of matter, everything is perfectly calculated, like a program designed by someone who knows exactly what they're doing. If this is random chaos, why does it feel so perfectly optimized? Then there's the strange case of the Planck length, the smallest possible scale in the universe. Nothing is smaller. Pixels of reality. If space has a resolution limit, then are we living inside a high-resolution simulation? Maybe you're thinking, well, if this is a simulation, why haven't we seen any glitches? But what if we have? The Mandela Effect, millions of people remembering the same thing wrongly. Strange coincidences that feel more like bugs. Deja vu, has this moment already been played before? And what about quantum computers? Why do they behave like they're tapping into a bigger processing system? Here's a scary thought. What if evolution itself is just an algorithm? Nature selecting the strongest code. Humanity constantly upgrading intelligence, tools, technology. Where does this lead? Well, if a civilization reaches extreme technological power, what would they do? Create simulations. They would run billions of digital universes. Statistically, we are far more likely to be inside a simulation than a real base reality. That's not fiction. That's a probability calculation by Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom, one that Elon Musk agrees with. Chances we live in base reality, he says, are one in billions. So let me ask you this. If humanity someday simulates entire worlds, wouldn't our own creators be doing the same? An infinite stack of simulations, each believing they are real. Where are we in that stack? Let's say this is a simulation. Who are the programmers? Are they future humans studying the past? Are they advanced life forms keeping us contained in their virtual zoo? Or, are you, watching this video right now, actually the only conscious player, and everyone else is an NPC running a background script? Think about the stars. We assume the universe is huge, but no one has ever reached the edge to confirm it. If a place isn't observed, does it even exist yet? Maybe galaxies are generated only when needed, like open-world maps expanding as you move. And every simulation has a purpose, right? So what is ours? Are we an experiment about morality? Intelligence? Survival? And if we fail, do they simply shut us down and restart? Suddenly the idea of an apocalypse sounds less like a myth, more like a system reset. If you've made it this far, you already feel the question closing in. If everything is code, then who are we? Are we characters? Test subjects? Or something even more mysterious, self-aware code that learned to ask the one forbidden question, what are we? Here's what's truly frightening. If the simulation ever realizes that we're becoming too aware, too curious, would it correct the glitch? Limit our knowledge? Delete the ones who see too much? So tell me, did you find this video randomly, or were you meant to watch it? Maybe the simulation is guiding you to wonder, to question, to search. And that search might be the real objective of this universe. If this truly is a simulation, then every view, every interaction, every choice is data. And the more you question reality, the more real you become. So stay with us here at Atlas and Mysteries, because our journey has just begun. And if this is all a simulation, then let's break it together.